Oh, Konami. Hello, everyone. I am the Moy Chicken, and welcome to a new series. We are going to be playing the Castlevania Adventure. Here we go. So, Castlevania Adventure is one of those games that, like, I've I've had it for a while. I've never beaten it before, but I I kind of always wanted to, you know. You ever have games like that where you're sort of like, I want to beat this game, but I haven't done it yet. Well, that's what y'all are going to do for me today. I can't guarantee I'm going to beat it because I honestly don't know how long it is. Um, so far, the furthest I've gotten in the game, I've gotten to stage four. Um, but I don't know how many stages there are, so I really don't know if that's near the end or not. But we're going to play it. It may, it may be, a, well, hopefully it'll be a full playthrough, but at the, at the very least, I'll give it a couple episodes, so... Let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah, so this is, um, I mean, this is about as classic Castlevania as you can get. It's very slow, it's very heavy, it's got all the things that people like to critique old Castlevania for, but, I mean, you know, if you like old Castlevania, it's a really solid one, and you can take it on the go. <laughs> um, so I don't know, which Belmont am I? I know I'm not Christopher. I don't think I'm Christopher. Because Christopher Belmont is the Belmont from Castlevania, uh, the Castlevania Adventure 2, uh, Belmont's Revenge, which is the second Game Boy game. Um, and I don't think this is Christopher, but I'm not sure which Belmont it is. Either way, it is a Belmont. And, um, one thing that's kind of cool about the way this game is set up, so you can see right now I've got, like, a chain whip and I shoot a little fireball. Every time you pick up one of those little balls it upgrades your attack. However, anytime you take a hit, it downgrades your attack. Unlike other Castlevania games where, like, you know, once you level up your whip power, you just kind of keep it. Like, that's one of the, kind of the big complaints about, like, Castlevania 4, is the fact that, like, you get upgraded to full, like, whip power pretty quickly in that game, and so you're almost never without your full whip. But in this game, because it's so easy to lose your full whip, um it becomes, like, really valuable. And I think part of the reason they did that is this game doesn't really make it super easy to get your sub-weapons. Um, like, the sub-weapons do exist in the game, but in my experience, I almost never have them because I think you lose them if you, if you lose a life, and there's only, like, one per level or something. It, they're very hard to find. Like, stupid hard to find. And so to make up for it, you have this, uh you have this little shot power, which is helpful. Ah, oh, see, now I only have the chain whip. I lost the fireball. Ugh. The other thing that's worth pointing out about this game is that it's honestly uh, rendered pretty well. Like, look at that mountain range. That's some pretty solid graphics work. It looks good. Like, it's really good. So, yeah, I like it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know why I never sat down to try and beat this game. I think part of it is just that, like, it's... Since it is so slow and heavy, um, and there are no, like, passwords or anything like that, you have to play, like... You have to play this level every time. And I just got tired of playing this same level. I don't know. I don't know what I could say about it. I was just sort of like, I don't want to play through the first level again because it takes forever. Because... You know, this Belmont definitely has his family's curse of extremely slow movement. <laughs> He's definitely got the Simon Shuffle going on here, or the Trevor Trudge, or the Richter, uh, really slow walk. <laughs> you, ever, you ever notice that, though, like, the Belmonts do seem to always move like they're wading through pudding? Um, this is, this is definitely the case with unnamed Belmont here, so now I will Okay, so that ball I just picked up is the, the whip power-up, so now at least I have, like, the second level uh, power, which is nice. Doggone it. Uh, uh, as you can see, you've got a timer up there. I've never seen it fully run out, though. I think it's pretty much just four points. Uh, uh, it's especially funny, like, how, like, upset the character looks when he's trudging back. He's like, ugh. Gotta do all those jumps again. Ugh. If only my legs work better. Why is my family so slow? I think this is our first boss. Yeah, here he is. It's this guy. He's here. 
He wants to be a Belmont too. He's got his own whip. Or spear thing? I don't know what that would be called. It's not very hard, though. This guy becomes a regular enemy later on. Yay! Cool. Did it. Okay, the sub subsequent levels will not go that smoothly. <laughs> and now we enter the caves. Stage 2, rest 2. I always thought that was a funny thing about, like... I feel like you saw that a lot in Konami games in particular. The whole, like, rest thing. Like, the idea that, like... You don't have lives or anything like that. You have rests. I, I guess the idea is that it's like you take a... You, you're like, as, as the player, you can rest for a second. I don't really know. It seems like an odd term. Rest. Oh, I hate these stupid things. Stupid things. They shoot these little, like, fireballs that just bounce around the room. And they're honestly... They probably shouldn't be as much trouble for me as they turn out to be, but they're annoying. Ah, there you go! Just like that, just like that. They really shouldn't be that much of a problem. <laughs> they move in a very regular way, but I don't know, they always get me. They always get me. This cool dude down here, he's like he's like an axe knight, but he's using scythes. Ooh, he's a scythe knight. So yeah, I actually don't... I think the I've only ever really gotten the axe once before. I think that's the only that's the only sub weapon I've ever found. It seems strange to me that they opted to make them like hard to find, but I think the rationale for that is that I don't think you use hearts to use them. I think when you have them, you can just use them as much as you want, which is a huge advantage. So I get why they would make that kind of hard to come by. But I don't know, like I feel like they could have just, just as easily done what every other Castlevania does and just give you, like, hearts, like normal. Instead, you just get coins everywhere. And all the coins do for you is, you know, give you points. What's that? I don't know. That might be a sub button for all I know. Problem. Oh, oh shoot. Sorry about that. I accidentally switched the uh, colors over to the default. That's one particularly cool, like, as, as, you, as I'm sure you've noticed, we are playing this on a Super Game Boy. I love the Super Game Boy. It's, it's, a, it's a really nice little peripheral to have. Um, but it's got a lot of little, like, nice quality of life stuff about it. Like how, um, every game for the Game Boy, um, has, like, a default palette. I think is a pretty cool feature, and you can swap to it by just pressing X. Um, these are big eyeballs, and they are just rolling along, and they explode when you hit them, because it's Castlevania. <laughs> it's kind of silly when you see two of, them, two of them in a row, though. They're like, oh, oh. Mom, my eyes are rolling at that joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm curious if anybody out there has played this game. Um, the only real attention online that I've seen to this game is I know that um, Pro Jared did like a one-off on this game. I think I didn't. I didn't ever see it. I, I, I kept meaning to watch it, and then it just kept slipping by me. So I haven't actually seen it. I, I know in that video he mentioned that he knew it like a secret in this game. So I am kind of curious what the secret was, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's a pretty fun game. What is this? Oh, 1-Up. That's nice. Gaggle. Down we go. Oh no, bats! Bats! Oh, bats! Screw you, bat. That. That. Gaggle. Oh no, bats again! So I think what this actually is, I think this is like a a Lost Woods thing where you're supposed to, like, find the right way through. So I went left last time, so let's see. Yep, right brought me forward. That's a little strange. It's nice, though. Nice little power-up room. Very helpful. Oh, no, more eyeballs. More eyeballs! 
Why are there so many eyeballs? Nice. You pick up a crucifix in this game and you suddenly become invincible! For a time. What's interesting too is I don't think... Like, I don't know how this game works very well, but like... Wait, is this where we already were? I'm all confused now. I'm all confused now. I'm confuzzled. Uh, was I supposed... Like, every once in a while, um, the game will take you backwards and not let you know. <laughs> so you'll be, you'll be walking backwards and not realize it. That might actually be exactly what's happening right now. Which would be unfortunate, because then I have to walk all the way back across the bridge. And that's not fun for anybody. These are well-made bridges, though. You know, for a cave? Wouldn't expect such nice bridges in a cave. Yep. Oh, it brought me backwards. Doggone it. All right. Well, anyway, we're about, we're up against time, so I will go ahead and end it here. Um, in the next episode, we will continue through the cave. I hope you can join me for that. I am the Moy Dragon. This is the Castlevania Adventure. And thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.